Um, yeah. I hope that uh, Joel Zuger becomes figures out where we are. We are, uh, what did you say, Laminov? Sounds right. Yeah, we're up to Allah and Gimel. Now, uh, this this is what written in the Ksuva. That you will sit in my, leave in my house, and you're going to be supported from my property as long as your state of, 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 of uh, widowship continues. May God means to flow or to continue. So as long as that continues, Chayev. As well as, uh, uh, that, even if you left that out of the Ksuva, and we don't write to the Ksuva today, but even though it's right to left out of the Ksuva, Chai, if you liable for the shoot tonight, base it. So base it means, what's husband dies, even though the wife doesn't inherit him, the widow gets to live in the house for as long as she remains unmarried to somebody else. Okay? Now, I, by the way, I just want to, I, I didn't look it up, but um, I'm not sure. I always read, read this word megar, and I don't know if, which means to live as an almana, but I think I probably read it wrong all these years. I didn't look up in the Bavli if it's spelled megar or megar there, but now I assume it's also spelled megar there, and I just never noticed. And it means again to flow. Anyway. Now, what if the children. Oh. So Rabbi Zira shows Rabbi Zira shows shows Rav Nachman Yaakov. Rabbi Zira asks Rav Nachman Yaakov and Rav Avinu Bar Papi, Loya Shem Bais. What if there was no house there? Okay, similar idea. So I'm going to say, said a Yoshim Sorch La Bais. They they have to they have to rent for a house. Okay, they have to rent their house. Mikan Veilach. What if? Um, if there is another, this is your question. What if there is another house there? I would not have understood the question without the carbonator, but there is a question. What if there is another house there? But she says, I want to stay in my, you know, deceased husband's house. I don't want to go to the other house, which, you know, you want me to go live in the, you know, in the uh, servants' quarters, whatever it was. I don't want to go. I want to stay in my husband's house. So, if that's the case, come El Chilmer's Karka. They say, she says she wants the land. Oh, he found this. She says that she wants the land where, where, where her husband lived. And he says, no, uh. He said, uh, well, actually, they, do you saw him say, sorry, it was, got too cold to stay in the side room. I figured you'd figure out where we were. Yeah. By process elimination, you came to the conclusion, right? Okay. So, um, it's just till the end of the week till they start vacation here. Basically, yeah. So, um, so, so, let, so they say we want to pay, pay money to, uh, to, to, rent, to rent you another house. Not the house the, the, uh, where our father lived. Or where, so I did my assignment. They're allowed to kick her out and put her into another house. They don't, have, they don't have to keep her in that house where they work. Kehada, like the following case, this is a complicated case. Chada Issa is a certain woman have a purna. Now, most of the Farshim say means they're ksuva. The Chasim Soif, the Chal, the Noy de Bilo ever says it's not referring to ksuva, it's referring to the Tosefet's ksuva. Because it says your ksuva is Esrim Dinar. That's much less than a regular ksuva is, right? So it means that besides her, uh, her regular ksuva, whatever's coming to her, she had an additional amount written in her ksuva, 20 dinar. Vava Tamil Chad Pais Batava Sora Dinar. So there was a certain house that there which was worth 10 dinar available, right? So her taina was that um, she wanted that uh, she wanted them to buy her or rent her a house which is worth a full 20. Seems somehow, it's not clear for the more how this ties up, how this hooks up, but somehow the 20 dinar written into her ksuva, she claimed that she wanted a house and it was Magiala who was coming to her house in that value. And the house there was only 10, worth 10 zoos, right? So I asked Uvdo Kuk Tientan Dina. So I have to ask Uvdo Kumid Rabbi Khanina. So this case came in front of Rabbi Khanina. And Omar he said, Oh, evening lay base, so either they should build their house 
which is worth tw- twenty zoos. Oh, you have a loch of dinner, give it the twenty dinner, or twenty, keep saying twenty zoos, twenty dinner, or give it the twenty dinner. That would they agreed with, they agreed with her, that he agreed with her, uh, oh, you dinner. Alright. So they agreed with, he agreed with her, Rabbi Chanina. So I might have said, no, we came to the late space of Tav El Asura, since the house which is there is only worth ten. The command the lace they put in El Asura. That's all her ksuba is worth. In other words, she has the right to a house. And she doesn't have the right to demand that they rent her a, or buy her a house which is more than the house which is there. As long as there is a house there, that's what she gets, no more, no less. Okay? So actually, less she can get. If for some reason the standard of living to which she's accustomed is less, so then the assignment can force her to go into less. But they, she can't demand more than whatever house is there. So mikanveilach, that's what it says. Mikanveilach, he has karka. She says she wants land. In other words, she wants a more splendid house. Very most, and they we say we're going to give you the value of what we have. I didn't mean so many. We accept what the assignment say. So it's a very funny aloch. I don't know exactly how it works, but somehow the twenty extra dinner which are in the ksuva uh, go to the uh, go uh, here to the correspond to the amount of housing which she gets and she gets anything up to 20 dinar but if somehow the assignment have a house extant which is worth less than 20 dinar if it's not the house in which she was living all this time so that they can force her into that house okay that's more or less the look the way it appears here I look it out this is the way the people shlime would write the ksuva meaning that as long as she's an Almada, she gets to live in the old house. And she go or some house. And she go you Christ can't you shlime. In the girl they will write like you shlime. And she Uda Christ in Yuda they will write and she eats her Yoshim Lit in Laksuvasa. She gets to live in a house until the heirs give her a Ksuva. Once the heirs give her a Ksuva, so then she has to leave the house. Now in the in, in Yehuda they left it up to the discretion of the heirs whenever the heirs wanted to present it with the ksuba they were allowed to do so that's the key difference in Gol and Yushalayim it was up to her discretion well, if she got remarried did she lose her rights to lodging otherwise the rights to lodging remain okay so therefore in Yudah therefore if the heirs want they can give her ksuba and kick her out because it's up to them because the women in Yehuda were uh, a little uh, loose to begin. How does that follow? Why so, why should you penalize them? They don't want to. They're penalizing the, the wife. The mother. Because she had a reputation by the before. <laughs> I don't think that that's the reason. But, it, it, but it's cute. <laughs> okay. All right. A for creativity. I, the bottom line, the way the, the, well, you know what? Maybe you could tie it into the Gemara. What you're saying? Anche Gold says the people go chosu They 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 were uh, meticulous about their honor because it's not honorable to kick out a widow. For lo chosu money, they weren't even though they lost money that way. Because as long as the widow was in the house, they'd have to pay for upkeep, right? The opposite, Anche Yehuda, the people Yehuda chosu am amamoynam. They were yeah, see, they were cared about money. The lo chosu akvaydam not on their honor. So they were not so dignified, right? Rabbi Chayda prayed Rabbi Avo. Rabbi Chayda said Rabbi Avo. If Easter made lay b'shem Rabbi Avo, case can some say in nay Rabbi Avo without Rabbi Chanina. Case Sarin in case Sarin they used to write the Ksuva ki Yehuda, which means to give the Yisraimim the right to kick her out. Ushakar at the solo lands work Yushalayim, which means that they had no right to kick her out. Chad by Nash midamach. A certain individual, as he was dying, Amar, he said, Yevun the Gavra, you should give the wife of that individual, meaning his wife, Parna, or Ksuva. In other words, don't ever live in my house, just give her a Ksuva and let her go. We obviously didn't like her that much. So this case came from Imana. Amar, he said, The mace said, Give her a Ksuva and kick her out, so you have to listen to the mace. That was his last will and testament. Amalei Rabbi Chiyah said, "Be Yeshua done mitzvah mevatel tonight." Zuva, 
And can a person cancel the Tanakh Suva? Chazal made this decree that as long as the widow is alive, she should have the right to lodging if she hasn't remarried. So how can he come just because of his last will and testament and undermine that halachic principle? So it says, So, so the Red Mona said, You said this. How do you know this? Maybe... Uh, maybe the status here is like the status of Yehuda. That whenever the husband wants, he can, whenever the heirs want, they can kick her out. So maybe that's why Paskin they have Paskin. That if the husband said, give her to him and kick her out, then we give her to him and kick her out. Our Malays are a retorted. The love of Golu on the One second, aren't we now in Golu? I don't know what city they're in, but we're now in Golu. And we're on Kayom, and we, uh, 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 I'm sorry, Lo Golikim, are we saying now Golik? The Sovri Maymar, we, we came to the conclusion before, Anche Golik Chosak Vaidam, the Loma Moinam, the people of the Golik were specifically uh, concerned with their honor, not with their money, and therefore we can't listen, in fact, to this dead person who commanded not to let his wife live there because the covenant is to let the wife continue to live there. Okay? New parent. I have hope, you know, tomorrow night maybe we'll try the high school base manager because it is difficult for me in here. Maybe tomorrow we'll try the high school base manager. Did you notice it was cold in there when you walked in? Yeah, how would you notice, right? Wear a ski mask. Okay, I have a piece of Besulu Grave and Messiah Mamana Mana. Even though they said a woman the first time around gets 200 bucks. Vamona Mona and Amona gets a hundred bucks. In Ratzelaisim, if the husband wants to add on to the Ksuva, I feel Mona, even a hundred bucks, Riosif. You can add as much as he wants. And we're going to talk about this in the Gemara in some detail. The Salmola and the when she gets widowed or divorced, Bame and Arison, whether they're only betrothed, Bame and Arison, and of course if they're fully married, Kove Sako, she collects everything. Not just a hundred or two hundred the Raisa, but also whatever the husband added on to her Ksuva. Okay? Right, the husband is our married, no, not always. Minani suing Goyves Hako. Ultimately, you're going to pass it, Rabbi Lesbian Azariah. If she was fully married, then she gets everything. So a hundred or two hundred, whatever was coming to her, the Raisa, plus whatever the husband added on. However, if Mina Arison, if she die, if he died or divorced her while well, they're only betrothed, then Besula Goyves Azariah. If she's the uh, first time around, she gets 200. My mother, mother, second time around, she gets 100. He only wrote her these sums on the condition, on the assumption he was going to fully take her in. And therefore, since he didn't fully take her in, that's why he doesn't have to give her these additional sums. Okay? Now, the more has a very interesting Lomdisha question. What makes them? I write you a document. I say, I, 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 if I write you a document, I write the document. I owe you a thousand dollars. Does it work? No. What makes me liable to pay you the thousand dollars? So what? Let's be a Kenyan. <laughs> right. If if it's a, if the document indicates a loan then the loan is what requires me to pay you $1,000. But if I just promise you something in writing, then of itself is not enough in our local to make me required to pay you. Doesn't matter. Unless I consider that I owe you $1,000 in front of witnesses. If I just wrote the document in front of witnesses, it's meaningless, right? So... What? A will is a gift. I, I distribute it. I, I say, I give... I hereby bestow X amount of property on so and so. It's yeah, yeah. Okay, so Mel is chayv. What what makes him chayv? Lokein is not Rabbi Yochanan who should be lokish tarbein omri. They both said. It's all part of the question. I'm sorry. Lokein Rabbi Yochanan who should be lokish tarbein omri. Then they both say. If I write you a document, assuming that I owe you money. And it turns out I'm not liable. Right, this is a question I just posed to you, right? If it comes out, I don't owe you money, even to Sheker, so I don't have to pay you up. Promissory notes, interesting concept, you know? Promissory notes are not meaningful in Allah. That's what comes out, okay? So it says, 
I'll tell you. Rotsu Litein Kama. He wants to pay as much money. Of course, not paying. He's just writing to Uksuva. <laughs> he stipulated that maybe he'll pay something. But he wants to put down so much. The Likos Chasor Shaploni and become, as we say in the Yeshiva world, so and so's Adam. It's worth his while to promise all these sums in order to become so and so's son in law. So, therefore, the other, it doesn't, doesn't spell it out here. There's a certain Hanoi, a certain pleasure, a benefit which he gets from becoming Shmerel's son in law, and therefore he's willing to pay money for it. Again, it's not truly paying money, but committing himself to an obligation of X amount of dollars for that. No, we can't renege. What do you mean? What were you about to ask? Well, if, if, she, if the, she gets married to him, then they cannot renege. Right. But if they only pursue it, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, Okay, that I understand. When he promised her the money on a condition that they, uh, for the betrothal. But what I'm possibly assuming, what about when he only promised her the money for the actual marriage? What, what seals the deal there? It's already his son in law beforehand. What, what's making him liable to the additional amount which he promises for the actual marriage? Says Zamara quite bluntly and, and, and explicitly, Rotolite Kama Bitashmisha Shiru Orev. He wants to pay money to have relations with her. It's pleasant to have relations with her. So that pleasure which he has of uh, being able to have relations with her, that's what commits him to the Ksuba. Akdu Shaba. Okay, that's true if he actually consummates his marriage. What if he dropped dead before the chuppah and the consummation? Low ball. If he never had relations with her, what makes him liable to pay? Okay, or he divorced her before they had relations. What makes him liable to pay? Says Mar. Nevertheless, it's an intangible. Rotsuli tank kama. He wants to give money al kinyan of shehosif on the on the acquisition. In other words, even if he didn't actually go, you know, they do a home run. So nevertheless, he acquired her. She's his, right? So therefore, that in of itself was worth something for him. Okay, so he was willing to commit for that purpose. Now, here I'm going to go like the change of Gersa. Even though I can read with the Gersa here, but I'm going to go with the Gersa of the Mashbiach. He says, in low Pasak, mean Erison, he adds in the word low. Look, what happens if he didn't write at the time of Erison? And low Pasak, mean is suing. And then right at the time of the marriage. Felikos Chasan or Shaploni had to be called so and so's son in law, Kfaru, it should be Kuro. They already called him that, right? Because it's already after the fact. And then the other day, didn't have, didn't have relations. Tash Mishembo. All right? He raises writing an additional amount of Ksuva where they're not having, didn't have relations yet. Kili Lohosif. They didn't have any Kili because it's after the marriage. No, it's basically we're asking if in midstream you add something to a Ksuva. What's that? What's, how does that work, right? Mikan, nevertheless, Rotsuli Tain Kama. He wants to pay her more. The low tax so she shouldn't renege. So it's any time during the marriage, or even before the marriage, for that matter. We could use the svara once we can remakadish the svara. Any time he adds money to the ksuva, it's effective. Why is it effective? Because he wants to add that money in order that she shouldn't back out of the marriage. So what's the obvious question on that? How could she back out of a marriage? Once she's married, she's married, right? Says Gemara, wait a minute. Lo ketai did we learn? A ish eno motzi elurutono. A man can only divorce a woman if he wants. In other words, why does he have to placate her by offering her more money? She she can't divorce him anyway, right? Says Gemara, you don't understand. I'm Rabbi Yovi. Rabbi Yovi says meika he lay. She causes him anguish and grief. Make his life miserable. Who mashpik law until he has to release her? Women have their ways. Okay? Tani. What reason is that? Not so many who me. Tani. Kishem Shaba Posek. Now, uh, here actually things get even more interesting. Just like the husband can stipulate. Kacha av poisek. So too the father could stipulate. No, it's here's the father throw the, the husband throwing in, or the chutz is throwing into his commandment of the ksuba. 
But the father also has to throw in a commitment to his dowry. And the truth is, nowadays, we do that at the Tznoim. The Tznoim are really... It's a, it's, they, it's a symbolic gesture. We don't really mean anything by it. But the, the, when the Tznoim were real, so then what each side was contributing... X amount of the dowry. The Chosid side was guaranteeing X amount of the possessions and property and sheep and cattle and clothing. And the Kala side was committing X amount. Okay? So this commission committing is done by both sides, right? Just like the, the, the son commits in the Ksuva, the Chosid commits in the Ksuva, the father bride commits in the dowry, right? Tani Kashem Shabbat Posek, Kacha Posek. Just like the husband commits, so too the husband commits. The father commits. El Shabbat Mezake Bichsav, but the husband does it in writing. Vav Eina Mezake El Bidvarim, and the father only does it by by verbalizing. Now, now Ubiyavad Bidvarim, and all uh, only with words. Sheinikni by Mir, because this is a Kenyan with speaking. Now, this interesting thing, it's a tremendous machlok is here between the Mephoshim. The Ritba says that yeah, it means that uh, uh, it's better for the purpose of Kenya to actually verbalize. But even if all you did was just written, wrote it in the star, that's sufficient for a husband to commit himself in the Ksuba. But the father actually has to not just write, commit in the Tznoim on writing, but he has to actually verbalize, I'm committing X amount. Because verbalizing is a higher form of expression of intent than just writing. The other Mephoshim, for example, the Shari Torah, Sarah Tzitzor, and the Majbiach, turn around the Gears and the Gemara. And they say the exact opposite. They say that the father only needs verbalization, but the Chosin actually needs writing down. Because the other Mephoshim hold that verbalization is not a better revelation of intent, but rather writing down is a greater crystallization of intent. So it's my Mishim Major Machlekes. What's a greater crystallization of intent, and who needs a greater crystallization? According to the Ba'as, a greater crystallization of intent is speaking. And it's the husband who needs, a, uh, not the husband, it's the father of the bride who needs a greater degree, not the husband. According to the other question, it's the exact opposite. Writing is a greater crystallization of intent. And it's the Husband who needs a greater level, not the father of the bride. It comes down to which do you, person do you trust less. Right. Which person do you trust less? Who's more prone to be lying about this just to get the wedding greased, uh, you know, and working properly? Exactly. So when the verbalization is that. You have to be cynical about it, though. Yes. <laughs> is that with witnesses or without witnesses? With witnesses. with witnesses. And the writing is... With, with witnesses. witnesses. It's like we do today by the Tznoim. We write the Tznoim and then we read the Tznoim. Okay? The reading is like the... I mean, it's true the Chassan, the Chassan and the, the Kyle's father do not read it themselves. No. But the reading of the Tznoim is tantamount to what we're talking about here. Okay? At the wedding. It depends. Chassidim do it before the wedding. They do it when they're, they're the engagement party usually. But the to do it at the wedding itself. At the wedding, they're already drunk. <laughs> okay. It says no matter further. Um, Tanoim are not essential, though. You don't need them. They're not essential. So. Okay. Uh, at, at the wedding. Uh, well, you could have a custom calligraphy Ksuva. It's expensive. It's not worth it. This is almost the value of a ksuva. Okay. Tani. Uh, so again, Kashem Shabbat. Well, we just read it. Let's away read. Gilo B'Shem Ra. Hey, Chavida. How's it work? Uh, to, to specify verbally. Gilo B'Shem Ra. So this is the way it works. Bekama Ato Noisin Levincha. How much you give me your son? Kach Vekach. But you give your daughter. Came a chikicha. Now, once the marriage takes place, zochzabe, zochzabe a bonus. Sorry, she gets that portion among all the other daughters. In other words, her whatever her father decided to give her, she gets it. Even though the other daughters might have been in line to get it, but she gets it. Now, 
the chid, the, it sounds like there's a chiddush that even though she's the, the husband is the, the father is depriving his other daughters of this portion by giving it to this one daughter as the bride, nevertheless it works. It sounds like that's the chiddush. Amir Chibayes Chibayes says Ashkar Gidul. I want to point out to you that the Mashbia points out the pun. There are a couple of puns on this page. It says here Ashkar Gidul, which means the big one. Revisa a bigger chiddush. See, Gidon and Revisa are the same word, one Hebrew, one Aramaic. Umar Zirta, but he only said the smaller Kiddush. And the Gemara will explain what that is. El Kani. Rather, this is the way it should be, the Kiddush should be. Kama Teresa Bincha, Kach for Kach. How much give your son, so and so much. For Kama Teresa Bincha, how much give your daughter, Kach, Kach, so and so much. Came at Shikitsha once they got married. Zach Sabas made a bonus. The daughter gets what her father allotted her among his other daughters. That's not the Kiddush. That's the smaller Kiddush, the Gemara says. The bigger Kiddush is, Vaben ben Abonim. And the son gets whatever he got among the, the boys. Now, it's not really the... Uh, uh, that, uh, even that's not exactly precisely the Kiddush that the son gets among the boys. And the Gemara says... Uh, 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 the, the Gemara says... Uh, uh, but the Gemara assumes that that's a bigger Kiddush that the son gets because by the son's de- depriving, by the son's getting, he deprives his uh, the other brothers of what would have been their inheritance, the Raisa, right? A daughter getting over other daughters, that's all the Rabbanans. So what if one daughter gets more than the other daughter? But if a son gets over other sons, that's more of a Kiddush because that's a Dorai, more uh, impinges on the Doraisa of the proper pa- pathway of inheritance. But name it says more Rabbi Zira. Um, Rabbi Zira. Here's another pun coming up. Rabbi Zira, who of course means small one. Or I said, Vada Yizirta. This also is a small chiddush. I got need to be a bigger chiddush. You know what the bigger chiddush is? Loni to koina isha, and it should be umetalten with a vav. Bishavet pruta. It says, when is this kinning complete? At the moment of the wedding. So at the moment of the wedding, the son is acquiring not just the bride, but also what else? Dowry. dowry. So what's he, with what is he paying for the bride and the dowry? Minimum. One pruta. But wait a minute, what part of that pruta is going for him to buy the dowry? So in effect, it should be that he's Makadish the woman with less than a pruta. We know he can't be Makadish the woman with less than a pruta. That's a big kiddush to say that despite the fact that the pruta is being given both for the woman and the dowry, it's still considered to be entirely going for the woman and not for the dowry. That's the kiddush you should have said, right? Says the Gemara. Learning to kona isha umetali mishav pruta veinah the kona shtei noashim mishav pruta can't buy two women with the shav pruta. So how can you buy the woman and the metali with shav pruta? Says the Gemara. Uma, uh, it's really it should be ma kain or ma bekach. So it's the two different possibilities. It's really quite. They score more. First, doesn't understand the magnitude of the chiddush. This morning says big deal. Ma bekach is like big deal. Who cares? Ena dab kain a kach of a kama tachlin mishav a pruta. Can't a person buy land and several metalklin as well, several mool objects with a shav a pruta? So we do buy the dowry in the womb with shav a pruta. So the more I says, you idiot! There's no limit to the amount of property you can buy with Shavar Pruta, right? Because property is fungible. You can pay as little money for property as you desire, right? However, the Xeris cause of is you can't pay less than one Pruta per woman. So therefore, it's a trend. You can't uh, be a cottage to women with one puta. So therefore, it's not a tremendous kiddush that you can acquire both the wife and the dowry with the shavar puta. Okay? Right, Barbara Achia, Rishem Rabbi Yochan said. Back to the case again. Kama Tanei Semin, Kama Chagavi, the son, Kach Vekach, so and so much. Kama Tanei Semin, Kama Chagavi, the daughter, Kach Vekach, so and so much. Kama Chagavi, once he married her, 
Zoch, as long as the marriage went through, Zoch is Abbas, and Abonis, the daughter gets whatever she was promised, by her father, by Ben Ben Abonim, and the, the son gets whatever he was promised. But here's the catch. And Mr. Zuger, it's not going to work for you. You don't have parents anyway, right? But theoretically. So it's only the first time around. It was the first time around, the parents of the bride, the parents of the group were so excited to see the marriage take place, they were willing to th throw in their hook, line, and sinker. Throw the kitchen sink at the young couple. Second time around already, eh, it's not as hush already. They're not so not so keen to me mock their thing. Just by beer, just by verbal de declaration. They lost their shirt from the first hospital. What? They lost, the parents lost their shirt. Well, yeah, they lost their shirt. Now, the, the, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to at the bottom. Ask that this is true uh, only by a son. That's just the first time around. Even by a daughter, you only commit the first time around. Because the daughter will see an on base. It's more likely you're going to give her even the second daughter. It's the way it is. You give your daughters more than your sons. Also, the uh, the Ridbaz brings down here that the post can say that it's also um all right, yeah, we'll see it in our base. We'll watch it we have to see now. So in any event, it says more. The science goes kinda this this also goes like Rabbi Khanida said. Chris and Macy's Bonoba by this is also brought down the Bavli. If somebody marries his son off in a house, he uh, that's this is why why do we make chuppas in hotels nowadays? It says if you make a chuppah for your kid in your house, zochabais, the kid gets the house. Never get a kid married at home. Uvami is solution. Only the first marriage. And again the question is does that mean the first marriage on the kid's part or the first marriage that the parents are making, right? Tiny Rabbi said, Zochabatli, no 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 no. He gets all the furniture below Zochabais. But not the house itself. Says more poly, is there a machlokas here? No, says more is no machlokas. If the house looks like it should go to the kid, it should go to the kid. This is a case of there's extenuating circumstances which indicate that the father would not want to give the house to the kid. What is extenuating circumstances? Rabbi Yerim Yisrael Bo said he bought there, so I'm not case you sorrow shall love in those shop. This is his father's warehouse. So therefore, logic dictates he doesn't really really want to give the house to the kid. Because it's very useful for him. So that can say he's just giving the house. I mean, not the house, he's just giving the contents of the house to the kid. Okay? Says the Lord Rabbi Chizkiah, Rishem Rabbi Shemalevi said, Lochain Tzmicha. This we got to ask. Afilu Shalom and Ashuk, what if the furniture was borrowed? Not yet paid for. Does that go to the son too? All right, Rabbi said, Vahamar. I'm a little Shayla. It depends what he to what he said. If he told now, it's not clear who he's saying this to. If he's saying it to the guy from whom we borrowed the 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 the, the, the furniture, or he's saying it to his son, could work either way. Um, but it's I'm a little Shayla. If he said to the let's try it first to the owner, he said to the owner from which he borrowed the came. I'm only borrowing them. So lend low zochabem. Then the son doesn't get them. Well, the alternative is that if you said to the son, Son, I only borrowed them, then it doesn't go to the son. But if he didn't say, I only borrowed them, and again, either to the son or to the owner, so then he really means for the son to acquire them, and he's going to go and pay the owner from which he borrowed them the sum of their value later on. Okay? Asa uvdo kumi kumi rabbi yako bar rabbi bun. A case came for Rabbi Yaakov Ravun. For all the Rabbi Yaakov, he passed him like Rabbi Yaakov. Who said to Pants and whether he said they're borrowed or not. Says, well, our Rabbi Zir, Rabbi Zir, Rabbi Zir, Rabbi Zir got very upset at this. He says, Ikara, Laisle, Tim Yulus, Tim Yulusim. The foundation of this aloha has no, um, the root of this Allah has no foundation. That's what I really mean to say. In other words, this whole concept that you give your son the house, or you give your son the the, uh, the gift without any Kenyan, has no foundation in Allah. It is unprecedented. For a body of the Sankar Allah, and the rabbis are building even higher uh, stories on this house that depends if he said it's the mother, the furniture is borrowed, not borrowed. This is a tremendous chidushin. 
The truth is he's right. I mean, he was complaining, but I'm not sure if he actually would disagree. What he's going to say is that all these halachas, the Bible calls them, hilchus are below timer. So halachas without any inherent reason in halacha, the rabbis just made this takana because they saw this is what people wanted and were doing. Okay? What were you about to say before? I was going to ask you, where did this, where did they make the sub from? Why does the son get it? Right. So, so the answer is, they don't have to tell you where they made it up from. But yeah. This is uh, in Eretz Yisrael. Uh, yeah, with the apartments and stuff. Sure. Right. Is it, is it the, the fathers? The, the, uh, the, the they split them. 50-50. Usually. Okay, it says where further. At Omar, at Pesagai de Bito. You you said a father gives his kid, his daughter. I feel Bulgarian is true even if she's an old maid. She's over 12 and a half. Does he also uh, throw the store at her? Let's turn around here. It says, Our place of guy de Bito. says the father gives money to his daughter. The low east side de Bito, however, not a mother to a daughter. Vlachi de Achosa, nor brother to a sister. Says, in the negative, Shani Achosa Benchi Nara Benchi Bogarets. It is a distinction by his sister whether she's still 12 or, or, or under 12 and a half, over 12 and a half. Because, so to hear, um, uh, because, so to hear, when you do give the positive, Lo Shani Benchi Nara Benchi Bogarets, whether she's an Arab Bogarets, it makes no difference. She gets the money nevertheless. Okay? In other words, the father wants to be mocked her, it's nikta by mira. You don't actually need to have a kidney. Okay? Says where Rabbi Bob is Katigo Katigna. Katingana. Boy asked Afilu, and I should be here according to read Baz Acheres. And I'm gonna look like to read Baz. Not Acher but Acheres. Reads what about the second daughter? Remember I told you I'm gonna help it's the first marriage for the parents. And the first marriage, could the father's son's first marriage, right? But that's by a son. What about by a daughter? Does he give his second daughter what he gave his first daughter? I mean, they said, I feel a bogeres, acheres. Even if the second girl is also an old maid, he still gives her the, the, the still gives her a dowry and only has to verbalize it. And I'll prove to you from here, the same case. How place a guy they beat it says the father gives his daughter. Below he saw I they beat her, not a daughter, uh, um, a, a, wife, a mother on her daughter. Vlachi de Achosa, nor brother on a sister. So it says the Gemara. Again, there's no distinction drawn. Under 12 and a half, over 12 and a half, and therefore, Koshkin follows certainly logically Acheres than another one, right? In other words, that. Um, if he's giving, uh, if he's giving his, um, I'm not sure why it's a kosher game. It sounds, it's a kavachomer, but I don't know what the kavachomer is. I haven't said who adin. Same thing, acheres. But here it says kosher game. I'm not sure exactly what it's a kavachomer. Says more, aflamidas adin. Okay. What about an question, Mish, but is it like this as well? Now, some people learn this as a question. Some people learn this as a statement. I'm going to learn like a question. But I didn't care. The question is, what about Chosh and Mishpat? Do I say the same thing? Meaning, Tain beat Kolaplani. Now, although this looks like an Ebenezer case, don't be fooled. This is not an Ebenezer case. This is not, not the same as our case before. I say, Tain beat Kolaplani. Give your daughter, not my daughter. My daughter, of course, I'm willing to be mocked by Mira. But if I say, give your daughter to so and so, I'll give you the father, kach the kach, so so much money. Not the daughter, the father. And not the father giving to the daughter, but a third party. Similarly, kach so the plenty. Take so and so field. Buy it. And I'll give you so and so so much money. Does that work also by Mira? Or do you need a Kenyan in there? And the more it doesn't answer. But my hunch is that you would need a Kenyan in there. Because that special preciousness which smooths over the transaction vis-a-vis -vis your daughter or your son, I don't think it exists when I say, go marry off your daughter to so-and-so, and I'll give you so-and-so much money. It's a third party. It's a third party, right. And it's more, that already makes it, as I said, chesh and mishpat as opposed to having an It's a business transaction as opposed to a love transaction. Okay.
Okay. Blood is thicker than water. What? Blood is thicker than water. Right, blood is thicker than water. Right. Okay. Says more further. Kini Masdisa. This is a way to, to, uh, to learn our Mishnah. Shalom Sifla El Mishil Chibas Laila Rishain Al Shabbat. He, it said in our Mishnah, uh, according to Rabbi Lozman Azariah, that you only give her the extra money because you want to have relations with her. At least that, there are other reasons as well, right? You know, because you want it, you want it to be a wife. You want it to be so and so, son in law. You want it to be that she won't fuck you for a divorce. Yeah, okay, but all those reasons are true. But the question is whether well, we just both took one of those reasons, but really want to go use this as a springboard for the further discussion. What about Baal? He had a relationship with her. he divorced her. Because then he took her back again. He should get the same at the suba. But now she's used good. She's a husband. She's watched up. So the second time around, you give less of a ksuba. That's the worst question, right? So it says, No. <laughs> he still remembers that first night. <laughs> he still has that romantic inclination. And he still is liable to give the folks of the, whatever he promised. Okay? But... What if he uh, uh, he died? I mean, he had relations first, sorry. And uh, Umez, he died. For the day of the Yovam. Now she's the Yovam, right? What does the Yovam have to give her? The original husband, he dropped in. He's not giving the Ksuva. So does the Yovam have to give the Gemara it's the same thing? Says more yes. Even though the Yovam is another person, but still the original obligation is... I think so. I think we did. Then we did. Okay, Rabbi Akash Shem Chizkiya said, How long can Rabbi Lesbian Isaiah that you only get the extra amount above the 100 and 200 if you got full marriage be suing? Okay? Shah Mari said, The Salmon on this guy should be innocent if the, 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 divorce, the widowship or divorce occurred after the betrothal only grave him assignment is suing. I'm sorry, go from a side, she only gets 200. I mean, so if it's after the full marriage, then go ahead and she gets everything. Okay? So, right, Chayna Amal, Krabi Lozman is I as well. Amar, it says a bai, but a bai cannot appear in the Bali Yushami, according to most, most opinions. And then they change it to Rabbi Yanai. Am Rabbi Yanai. Am Rabbi Chayna, they said to Rabbi Chanina, who passed the Lozman as I Oh boy, did they insult him, they said. Tseukra. Top of the next page, Mr. Zuger. Tseukra. Go out and lane. Rabbi Chanina was a Balkhire. He was called someplace in Rabbi Chanina Kara. And they said, You want to pass a lesbian as I am? You are a Balkhire. You are not a Pisces. Keep your nose out of Psaka Loka. Okay? Stick to your J job, right. Cesar Rabbi Rabbi Zir, Rabbi Shirmi, and son Omar. And Rabbi Yen and Rabbi Zion and Rabbi said, it should be Eina Lo Krebi Lozman Azariah. Eina Lo is not Krebi Lozman Azariah. That's why they said to Rabbi Chanina, stick to your day job, right? Says the Gemara, Rabbi Yezir, Rabbi Zion, Rabbi Yezir, Rabbi Zion, Rabbi Yen, Rabbi Yen, his son, Omar, he said, um, it should be Halacha Krebi Lozman Azariah. Halacha is a Krebi Lozman Azariah. I'm Rabbi Yisrael, it said, Simon Hayalon, we had a Simon. Now I know what the Simon is, it doesn't say what the Simon is, but we had a way of remembering. The Chizki Rabbi Yisrael, Shtei Mamru Dover Echon. Chizki Rabbi Yisrael both said the same thing, which is that Halacha is like Rabbi Yisrael ben Azariah. Though it's because there's a Machlokas here, what Rabbi Yisrael said. One version of Rabbi Yisrael, Rabbi Zir named Rabbi Yisrael said that Halacha is like Rabbi Yisrael ben Azariah, the way I changed the Gersa. Rabbi Yisrael, Rabbi Zir, Shem Rabbi Yisrael said, the way I changed the Gersa. Is like Rabbi Lozman Azariah. So Rabbi Yisrael said they had a simon to know. I don't know what the simon was. That Chiz and Rabbi Yisrael both said the same thing, which is that Allah is like Rabbi Lozman Azariah. Maybe that was the simon. The simon was that we may know that Chiz and Rabbi Yisrael said the same thing. So everyone must see that Rabbi Yisrael holds that Allah is like Rabbi Lozman Azariah. Okay? Period. Now it says here, Ditani, but the Shai turns it so changes it to Tani, which very often happens in Shami. It's really a new issue. It's related, though. Mishlach Benoam did not say His son went to Chutzlitz. V'shamulav Shemesi heard that he died there. 
So what do you do? Nebuch, he died. Vamad because of kol nechas of lacher. You side over all your prop, all the property to somebody else. Because you thought you were, I guess he was only your son. Your only son. So you, you thought he was dead, so you signed over your property. property. But then the son materializes again. He ends up back in town. The gift is sustained. It's a valid gift. Right? Why? Tough on you. You should have, should, should have, once you gave a gift, the gift is a gift. Can't look a gift or no, that's not the right term. But you can't renege on the gift. Can't be an Indian giver, that's what it is. Once you gave the gift, you can't, you can't, you can't renege. Rabbi Shimon, and Asi Oimer, Shimon Asi says, Ain't my no so kemis. No, the gift is not a valid gift. It does not work. Why is that? Illogically. Sheila Yadir Shib no Kayam. If he had known his soul was alive, lawyer Christ, he wouldn't have given him, they wouldn't have given the gift to somebody else. Right. Ah, uh, but so it's like a mechatos, but there's no there's metadakamos. Mechatos is when you buy something under mistaken impression, but not when you give a gift. There he was. There's no consequence on giving a gift to mechatos. Anyway, Umar Rabbi Yaakov Barach Rabbi Yaakov said, "How long is there going to be Nazaria? How long is there going to be Nazaria? For years, Rabbi Lazar and Nazaria, he did Rishim and Menasio, and Rabbi Lazar and Nazaria and Rishim and Menasio are the same thing. How so? Interesting svara." Explain it by the Mephoshim. Rabbi Lezbeth Asai, it doesn't say in the Ksuba, I'm giving you 200 for the betrothal and the extra money for the full marriage. We reckon that. It's our logic that indicates that he only wanted to give her the extra money for the full marriage and not for the betrothal, right? It's logical, right? But it doesn't say in the Ksuba. But it's our logic. The same thing here. In the gift, it doesn't say, I'm only giving you the money because my son, you know, is no longer here, right? But it's a logic that we understand. So the intuitive logic which we follow is the, the underlying reason for Elizabeth and Isaiah and our Shemnasi. So you pass it like what he says, you pass it like the other as well. Okay? The next couple lines we take out. Uh, the Shari Teresil checks the takes out. They're really repetitious of the top. And the, la- the punchline is the last seven words before the next Mishnah. The Chain of Akuv the Krabbelism and Azariah. The Locha, the Lamaisa, came at Elizabeth Azariah. That the extra money she only gets if they came to the full marriage. Right, the truth is, as far as I prepared, I didn't expect to get any further. No, 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 no. We can go another couple of minutes. We gain some ground. I, I don't I really should look up how far behind we are. Uh, Rabbi uh, Amar. We'll see if you can wing a dumb and bass. Yeah. I'm a little bit nervous about winging a dumb and bass. Because I see it's a long way past. Alright, let's not. I'll give you a break since you're both dumb and marv anyway. That's the way you probably should be. Two blood. Chick track. Yeah. No. Excuse me? Kiddish means a novel idea.